Hi everyone, it's Dan from Ink Gaming. Welcome back to Battletech. This is Season 1, Episode 29, and we rejoin Eiji's Marauders orbiting above Kimi. We finished a destroy base mission, I believe, in the last episode, and we have one in this, this episode upcoming. Um, I think we had already spent the XP, as you can see, the Griffin's being refitted still, and we're still working on this Mech Bay 2 upgrade on the Argo, so that's all handled. Um, we have looked at the store, but we're waiting until we're leaving the system. Um, there were a couple items that were single plus, you know, obviously a fair expense, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll ponder that decision. And so, um, let's go take a look at the contract. So, as you can see, the story campaign, obviously, is the travel to Panzer. This one's travel back to Weldry. Um, could be fun, you know, an assassinate on Polar One Skull, but that's a lot of days. So, of course, we're going to try and get this mission done first because it's local. It'll take us one day. Of course, we may get our tushies handed to us. Who knows? It is a three skull. It's in Tundra, and it's another destroy base. Potential for a decent amount of pay and salvage. Doesn't give us a whole lot of hints about what we're up against. It just says uh, we are going apparently against the Compellens. So, uh, and that uh, heavy resistance. That's so, of course, it's a base. We expect turrets, but I don't know whether that means one lance of heavies or mediums or vehicles like that horrible LRM boat. Let's go find out. So, um, because we know there are going to be some, we're about to go travel, which of course means we're going to have a monthly thing, but I'm pretty sure we're going to hit some mechs. So I'm going to choose three just in case we get a lucky hit um, or have an opportunity to take something down and get the three full parts out of it. Um, that's the only reason I'm going to do that. Otherwise, you know, um, and we'll take some cash. That's still a pretty decent hunk of cash, 264k. Um, so, happy to happy days let's get going there um we could bring the blackjack but currently um i'm okay with our configuration you know we will probably eventually replace this vindicator but we are using it it's got that nice um seriously destabilizing ppc on it and uh, then we've got sort of our brawlers and then we've got our little lrm boat here of sorts our bj1 sort of a backup brawler you know Low tonnage, 45 relatively, but that's one of our backups. And Medusa is still on the bench. I think one of the things I talked about that I'm still debating and happy to hear any comments as to whether you think I should or not, but if you noticed, um, right there it shows the initiative of the pilot in the particular mech and so if you saw eg and decker i think are moving at a four so a light essentially even though they're in mediums because of their ta master tactician and um what do you call it uh, i forget who's in the shadow hawk is moving might be glitch um is moving at a three a medium but um we still have the quick draw which is a heavy barely it's moving at a two and we could choose to move a tactician into that to move it up and you know so it can go at least at mediums that way if we run into a group of heavies we have the very real potential of you know doing the delay tactic so letting them move hitting them and then having it so all our mechs will be able to go on a second turn before them anyway here we go let's get going on to the planet Yes, of course, our target's the nearby base, which looks to be dead ahead. Strong opposition. I don't know whether that means just paid. a bunch of nasty stuff, or two lances, or what. Okay, so again, um, they're not being kind to us anymore, where they show us little towers, so I'm sure there are probably four turrets. Um, 
missiles and whatnot. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. And we're going to try and look around. So we've got a big hill next door um, with a lot of unstable patch. Not a whole lot of trees on the hill. And as you can see, the line's going like right up next to it. It's not a huge box here, folks. I mean, enough room to fight stuff, but not a huge box. Over on the other side to our right, again, we've got some hills. But as you can see, we'd basically be kind of going here. A lot of uneven ground. And then, boom. Seriously, literally this is at the back corner of the yellow box or the playable area. Um, you know, part of me is very tempted just to kind of come back here. We're probably going to actually run into the mechs and this, If but then if there's LRMs, um, the mechs will spot us and then the turrets will still be able to fire at us, so... Oh, I don't know. I guess we can just advance into the trees. The trees seems like the best bet, and then we'll play it from there. So, as always, standing by. Here we go. Waiting for orders. Yep. We'll do the jump and brace dance. We're gonna keep folks together, though. Engaging jump jet. Relatively. Um, the one person we, I don't mean to make it sound like this, that we care a little bit less about is Glitch in the LRM boat. I mean, obviously we care about Glitch, but um, we'll have Glitch sprint this round so that way Glitch can be sort of semi up with the rest of the crew. Um, because Glitch is going to be doing the LRMs, Glitch can be further back. It's not a huge deal. The only problem with that ever would probably be, you know, if somehow reinforcements came in and landed right, you know, behind Glitch, and then Glitch would be screwed. Say it together. Orders. You're screwed. Um, let's see. Yep, that's fine. Let's get in here, get into the trees. Very nice. Friends into the trees. Copy that. Up high. And I don't know. Well, Glitch could sprint into the trees, but Glitch, I don't think, can at all. Remember, we stripped it down to two jump jets, so it gives some mobility to get over hills and things, but it's not really good for, like, um, serious mobility, if you will. Moving out. Okay, that's fine. So now we're in the trees. That's fine for Glitch. I expect engagement, um, well, probably this turn, but maybe next turn. So, we'll go ahead and have EG. We're going to head for these trees, since I guess that's the next logical tree group. To that, we're actually going to only move up here. Oh, good thing I did that, huh? There we go. 65 tonner. Definite heavy. We're going to go ahead and brace, even though we're going to get to go first next round. And let's get you in front, if at all possible. Acknowledged. Yep, I'm acknowledging you. Oh, wait, you're acknowledging me. These are the trials and tribulations. Okay. Here we go. Now we're just going to, you know, I think what we're going to do over here is we will still jump you, but we're going to move you over here. It's the wisest thing in the world. No, we don't want Glitch to be out by ourselves. Keep Glitch right up with everybody else. Just in case someone comes off that wing. You know, let's let's not play this game because I guarantee you, as always, that is not the only mech, and the other ones will be coming in real soon. So, we're going to all reserve. We're gonna let this heavy go. I don't know if he'll be able to. Yep, there's another one. Now that's a medium. So this guy's uh, braced, unfortunately. I'm hoping this heavy gets, and he's probably not gonna get close enough. Yep, there's another medium. Okay, good. Fire. Good. Thank you. 
reason we want them to fire is because we don't want them to be braced. Of course, we don't like getting hit. Um, but uh, we want a target where we can do full damage against um, on our sort of beginning turn. Whoa, whoa, my friends. Okay, so they got their full lance engaged with us. My bigger concern, of course, is if they've got us locked up and the turrets are within reasonable range, they're going to get to... Okay, there's a Jaeger. Jaeger's going to fire. Ow, mommy. Okay. Ooh. And this is why we brace it when we can. <sighs> Unfortunately, I did not see... Okay, wow. So... 65er, I think these two, I didn't see what this is, even though they had an opportunity to fire at us. It could be a Jaeger too. So we could be facing two Jaegers, a uh, Wolverine, and could be another Wolverine or something else in the 55 area. Um, three of these guys fired, so in theory, three of these could be targets for us. Um, the unfortunate part is... Tough to know, right? Who are we going to go after? So, What's up, boss? yeah, Decker, why don't you give me some information? So this guy, he's got the two LRM-15s. I do not like missiles firing at me. Uh, the two AC-2s, I'm less concerned about those, and the two medium lasers. Unfortunately, I cannot target someone else. Who will that be? Well, you really can't see that guy, Decker? Good to go. Can you see anybody? There we go. So, um, Wolverine, probably less of a threat. I mean, that's still damage with the SRM-6s and the AC-5s. Um, he's on... He takes extra stability damage. Well, let me take another look at that. What's up, boss? Okay, yeah, that's fine. So, there is that temptation. Um, if we focus this guy, particularly with the LRMs and stuff, it's very likely he'll be on the ground. I do think he's slightly less of a threat than this guy over here. Um, decision time. Regardless, I think what we're going to want is, we're going to want EG to sensor lock them up. Um, which is, as always, unfortunate. Um, can I please... What can I do for you? Yeah, let's go for the bigger threat. Um, EG. You're going to want to jump because I need you to gain some evasive strikes. That's fine. And then we're going to have you sensor lock up friend over here Sensor lock thank you very much yep so these are the turrets that's a lot of LRMs that's a lot of LRMs and with theres we're just gonna be taking fire from them because until we take these four out they're basically targeting us they're they're you know let's call it censoring us up um, for them, um, spotting, if yep, you will, commander. really. Okay, well, we're going to do the next things next, which is, uh, for orders. glitch. You got a target, man. Yeah, that's okay. Do what you can. Soften them up. This should be good. Okay. Standing by. Yeah, so Behemoth, Decker took less damage. Decker, what's your chance to hit this guy? Probably not that, well, not too bad, actually. I may have Decker stay in place, um, because then Decker will bulwark. So we're going to go ahead and do an aim shot. And we're going for center core, folks. I mean, as tempting as it is to leg or something like that, It's 
centering. Full. There's some good shots in the center, it looks like. That looks like a good shots in the center. Not gonna take them out, but uh, that was a. Uh, and. Man, they got a long range. Damage is light. You know, the other option is to bat. We probably could get out of range of that, uh, the, the, whatever it is. It's got ACs on it, that turret. Um, yes, Commander. Which probably actually makes sense, but uh, I really do want to take. We'll be able to move. Well, I shouldn't say we're going to be able to move first. Same thing with the quick draw. You are our front guy. We do not have enough morale, so this is just sort of a hope shot, honestly, to be to be honest. The center is the most common target hit when you're facing it front on, but it's still sort of an RNG roll. So my hope is with our full blast here, which, you know, chances aren't too bad as far as hitting, uh, is that we hit a number of targets and then they get center. There were some in the center. Not enough missiles. There we go. No! Burn it. Well, you know, we took a couple of the weapons out, but, um, and we're not done, because we get to go first. Receiving you. Unfortunately, um, it's a tough choice. Like, for example, here, you know, I've actually got a pretty decent chance with EG, but then EG becomes a potential target. If anything hits that center torso, it's uh, raw toast. But again, it looks like only the PPC would do it. Decker, on the other hand, um, sorry. Waiting for orders. Decker is more of a tempting target. Uh, I, I mean, tempting person to use. I mean, I hate to blow his uh, load, but this would. I mean, the the threat is obviously less on this at this point. But it's one less thing that gets to fire at us. You know what I mean? This is what we're going to do, though, folks. Um, we're actually going to... Um, we're going to try and draw back. Um, so... Which is going to be a target... I think that's okay. I want to see if we can draw back far enough that um, I copy. Then we can get out of range of that. That uh, probably can't. We probably need to be behind the hill. So this probably was a bad tactic. But um, well, so we're gonna actually we could brace. But we're going to actually sensor lock instead. And uh, we're going to sensor lock you up. Well, but then he's going to move. We're going to brace. EG, can I get you to come back here? It looks like you'll still have a shot. Doubt it's gonna happen, but it might. Hell yeah. Yep. Very nice, very nice. Destroyed. One less thing to bother us. Unfortunately, now they're gonna get to go. At least one of them. Okay, so they got a Shadowhawk. You're braced, but you've taken quite a bit of damage. Gonna be pulling you back. I hope. Okay, so glitch. Oh, glitchy glitch. I need to pull you back too. Do I do it now? Waiting on you, Commander. Yeah, I think the answer is yes. Uh huh. Now, I could brace, but you should be behind most of the people, so I'm going to actually have glitch, even with the reduced chance to hit, I'm going to have glitch unload. Commencing alpha strike! So, as you can see, we definitely missed with some, but, um... 
Interesting. Okay, I really need Behemoth to. Oh! Dang it, Behemoth took a head hit. Um, so Behemoth is going to be, uh, well, Ready assuming we get out of this, is going to be uh, definitely. Uh, I'm going to move Behemoth back, I think, here. And the reason why is I definitely want to switch up for a little while. As far as targets. And, I, you know, I can't technically control them. Oh, wouldn't it be nice if I could? Okay. So now let's see. I think their LRM tower will still be able to attack us. Um... Looks like we're actually okay, so we are going to, I think everybody's going to reserve. This is sort of like our original game plan now. We're going to let them come forward. See, there's one. Oh, he didn't quite make it in there. I really actually expected him to. Maybe the Wolverine will... We are in the trees of sorts. There we go. Okay, so now we have at least one target we're going to be able to come in at hard, if you will. We're still reserving, though. Want this heavy to move up. Ooh, jump jets. Oh, it's a thunderbolt. Good stuff. Even better, the thunderbolt may be our target. Okay, so I actually expect uh you know at least one of the turrets to fire, but now this is this is our opportunity. So unfortunately the Thunderbolt has three evasive strikes. The Wolverine has none. Again, it very much makes the Wolverine a tempting target. Um, I guess we could just take a quick look here. Decker, uh, if Decker was looking at him, you can see this guy, well, you know, three medium lasers, a large laser, and LRM-10. So, uh, and we know the other guy has the SRM-6 and the AC-5. Um, he's got a lot of armor, but you know, you're gonna be our, you're gonna be our boy, if you will. So, first off, um, we're gonna use, again, EG unfortunately sorry eg's like how come i always have to censor lock orders. well wish you didn't always have to so what we're going to do is we're going to go all the way up here i think mm -hmm. may make you a target though so this may not have been the wisest thing in the world but we're going to censor lock you up that's number one number two Glitch, yes, I think you're okay where you are, especially since you're bulwark. And I'm going to have you light this puppy up. Yeah, I'm fine with that. It's going to be a direct shot. We are at a slight minus, and that's okay. This will help the other folks. And we're good. Got it. Okay. Orders? Yeah, uh, Decker, you get to use the precision strike. You will be using it against him. We're again going to go for a center core shot. Thank you very much. Um, do your best. Copy that. That looks like some good center action there. Also hitting some arms. Oh, it's on now. Ooh, ooh. Did Enemy he really down. have LRM ammo? In his chest? That's a bad place to put it. Good. Another threat gone. So much so that uh, I don't think Behemoth actually has a firing line on anybody, which is a bummer. Oh, darn it. Darn it, darn it. I do want to take advantage of this because we're going to get to move. I mean, they are mediums, um, but we, oh, I hate to put him up front. Looks like I'll have a firing line. I don't have a firing line here, but if I move up one. That's my armor. Not too bad. You know, uh, some places, you know, a couple solid hits and it's penetrated. Um, I just, I, I, you know, he's got like no heat, or she's got no heat, and so I feel like they, she should be, uh, Utilizing. It looks like we got the Shadowhawk with two evasion and the Wolverine with none. So we're going to, you know, our chances could be better. I wonder if we do, how much will our chances improve if we do this? Much better. We're doing this. 
So again, we're going to center. We're going to take our opportunity this turn while we have it. Good job. I may have even pushed, um, pushed him down, I think. So we're going to get a bunch of shots, hopefully, this turn in on the Wolverine. And nothing fired at us. So we must be basically out of effective range or something. I don't know. Ready for orders. Okay. Well, we got some choices here. E.G. and Decker first. Uh, I don't think that Decker has any shots, so Decker is sort of uh, unfortunate. If I move forward, I will leave myself, uh, you know, um, I will be in the trees. Um, but the idea behind this would be to, you know, pretty much brutalize this guy as much as possible. And we're going to just end up having to take what we take from the Shadowhawk. Roger. Okay. Yeah, and he's he's braced anyway, so it's not like we want to fire him. So we're almost through, but then we got 90 more. Um, the shots could be better, um, but we'll unload fully. I copy. That looks like torso hits with the lasers. So the guy's on steady. Um, so we may be lucky enough with uh, this right here. To we we definitely still want to jump with EG because EG's and we want to make sure we can hit though is the problem. And none of these look like good spots. That's interesting. I mean, that's great for evasion, but I guess I don't have many good choices as far as I'm going to take a chance. I was probably going to regret this, but I am pretty far away, so I'm going to sit here with EG, and I'm going to have EG fire. EG's got a... Well, I don't even want to do that, because I want him to hit, right? Jump... This is going to make you a target, though. That's what I don't like. Good evasion bonus, though. So let's go ahead and give it a try. Not in the tree. So many things I do not like about this plan. Okay. At least I am firing from the front. This is mainly to see if I can knock him over. Uh, I do have a bunch of lasers. I'm not worried about my heat. Chances are I'll be sensor locking next turn anyway. So let's see what we can do. Engaging target. Nope. Oh, did knock him over. Beautiful. Remember, we got a lot of, on that PPC, we got a lot of, it's got the two pluses with the stability damage. So, uh, it should be plenty to push people over in a lot of cases. Okay, what are we doing here? He's running right up smack dab. Okay. Um, yeah. Damage is minor, Commander. Yes, well, I don't. I'm not a fan of taking damage. Good to go. Just how I roll. Um, so, we should obviously um, target uh, the uh, the person who is down. Um, again, sure, I'd like a Wolverine. Let me tell you how much I'd like a Wolverine. But, uh, uh, he's going to get to go, so I am going to do a cold shot, obviously, on the center torso. We're letting the LRMs loose. And we'll see how that goes. Apparently it went pretty well. Did you see that? Did you see it? Okay, so we got one person that gets to go, Behemoth. Order. You got a shot? Oh, well, you can feel free to take the shot then. Uh, chances could be better, but uh, then you'll be braced just in case. Or um, bulwarks, so therefore braced. Um, it's going to generate a lot of heat. Um, but that's fine. I have no issues with that. Let's soften them up. Essentially, that's what we're trying to Firing do here. All weapons. Leg hit, miss, miss, miss. Bunch of arm hits, it looked like. Somehow we got some structure exposed. Don't even know. So he's going to get to go. Um, 
you know, probably before glitch. But um, we could go first. So that's what we're going to do. Um, EG is going to, we didn't like the position. EG is going to go back up into the trees. Unfortunately for EG, I'm not going to be able to. Remember the heat issue and I just did a big jump jet? I might be able to fire PPC. We'll see. I'm definitely not firing all these medium lasers. Yep, we can fire PPC. So this will, you know, stability damage. Who knows what we'll hit, but it's fine. Engaging target. There we go. Hit a leg. So, Decker. Standing by. Which I'm perfectly fine having him sit here right in front of this guy because he will bulwark, which uh, means he essentially auto braces. And uh, it looks like we could do a precision strike, which is tempting as long as they don't get reinforcements. I haven't heard anything about reinforcements yet. Um, this may be exactly what we want to do because we could try and leg this guy and get some extra parts in that fashion. Um, let's take a look. So, you know, he's got the AC-5, the SRM-2, the medium laser, the LRM-5. He is the it's the stock awful mix of a Shadowhawk. <clears throat> so this leg, I believe, is literally almost done. Uh, the arm is sort of done. Um, now we could center is really not. So I'm thinking we go for the leg. Ooh. What I don't like about going for the leg is I suspect he's going to be able to get up and move, but maybe this will push him down. We're going to go for the leg. We're going to hit some other stuff too, I'm Firing pretty sure. Weapons. So we're getting the arm, there goes... Okay, leg's gone. Yeah. Bam. Now, glitch, hopefully, we knocked him down one glitch, hopefully we'll be able to go before he gets up, which call means, an, oh yeah, he got knocked down all the way to a one. Okay. I hear ya. So, my friend Glitch, I know that this sometimes seems maybe not so accurate, but you are going to do your best. Huh. If we take out a torso, that's another pilot damage. You would have gotten one. The chance to take out torsos, as in the hit a torso, is, you know, just it's a little bit easier. We're gonna aim for the leg. Chances of us hitting, who knows? Looks like a lot of torso hits there, but a lot of centers. Receiving you like to say how shocked I am, but I'm not. So as we can see, we really hit very little of the leg, hit a bunch of the torso, that's almost gone. Oh, ho, ho. we're going to aim for the opposite side torso. Oh, we're going to overheat is what we're really going to do. Decisions, decisions. What weapons do we take out if we take this off? The AC-5, which is one of the major damagers. Let's just do that. Affirmative. Target. One left target. I didn't even see exactly what happened there, guys. I know we destroyed the left torso and the left arm, but uh, apparently uh, either the explosion carried over or we took out the center torso too. I don't know, but it is what it is. So we're going to just brace everybody. Confirmed. Holding. Get rid of some heat. Stabilizing. Engaging coolant system. Decker's looking pretty good. EG's good. Behemoth cooling. is getting close to good, so as we move What's forward. Up, this is... You know, assuming no, uh, what do you call it, uh, reinforcements, this is now going to be, um, turret time. Good to go. So, let's get a move on. Engaging jump jets. Jump and brace. And actually... Thank you. 
jump and brace. Emeth. That's. Let's do this. Jump and brace. Glitch. You can get as far forward as possible. Affirmative. Jump and brace. EG, you very well may spot something this turn. We shall see. It's fine. Nope. Roger that. Lifting off. Spot something this turn. Engaging jump jets. Yep. Okay, we got two. Um. Brace, because we're gonna just we're trying to get. Jumping. Same deal here. Engaging jump jets. Okay, combat. Here we go. Sensor lock fun time. Okay, so first off, you. Um, Decker can sensor lock too, interestingly enough. Um, so we may actually have EG. Decisions, decisions, right? Well, let's see if we can do it with Decker. Decker, if he sits right here and tight, he can sensor lock the first one. I've got a sensor lock. It's a heavy LRM turn. Well, probably good that we sensor lock that puppy. EG. I have EG reserve. Then we're going to have glitch fire. See what glitch can do to it first, right? I'm just super curious. If I precision strike, what happens? It doesn't really matter because there's only one. Okay. Wow, that's what? 30, 40, 50 LRMs? Yeah. That's what we call unpleasant. Okay. Let's see what you can do to this. Firing everything I've got. Yeah, that guy's got a lot of, a lot of armor. So the reason we were considering that was with EG, do we want to, we could jump and brace, obviously. We could also um, jump and uh, um, fire the PPC. Now, I have no idea how much health he has, but it looks like it's a fair amount still. Um, hmm. Well, EG's pretty much unhurt. I mean, that is a lot of LRMs, don't get me wrong. But... Yep, more than we can do with the PPC. Doesn't mean we shouldn't try and hit it with the PPC. Okay. Yeah. Now, Behemoth, my friend, who is probably the most injured, um...
looks like I could get some shots. I don't know that they'd be that good if I did that, though, because I think our range would be pretty far. But, oh, uh, yeah, you know, it's going to put you up there. Um, Here we go. Particularly in range of the other thing, but... Okay. Uh, we got enemy reinforcements. I don't know where they are. Um, but, uh, that, uh, pretty much pisses me off. Well, it doesn't piss me off, but, uh, I need to take this out. And you should be able to take this out. And then I need to get the hell back. Let's get this done. Yeah, we're going. Destroyed. Full retreat mode. Full retreat mode. I have no idea where the reinforcements are coming in from. When I get my boys back together, we're going to get hit by some turrets here. I'm fairly confident. Uh, maybe not, uh, which is a, a little odd, but still. Just don't know what those are. Okay, so... Good to go. Decker... EG, you know, I'm okay with you guys reserving for now. It's, uh, poor behemoth that I want to pull. Okay, now we know where they're coming from. Oh, 55 tonner, at least. Um, yeah, we're definitely going to yank everybody the hell back. Here comes another 50 tonner. Because, yeah, yeah, why not throw another lance of mediums? Because the previous medium and heavy combined lance wasn't enough. Um, but, 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 I can't believe I jumped to a space where I was... Oh, okay, I, I didn't. I was just freaking out. Okay. Uh, yeah. We're, we're fully raging back, folks. And we will keep our front facing as much as we can. We're going to jump. Maybe use the hill lock for cover. For bracing. It comes, that means it's a, 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 I don't know, I thought maybe that meant it was a heavy, too, to boot. Um, yeah, let's get you all the way over here. Firing jump jet. Jumping and bracing. Yeah, see, when that's, so, yeah, they're making me think. But there's another. Yeah, well. Suspicious that I am. Okay, yeah, you're backing up. I don't mind if you're on the perimeter like that. I'm fine with that. Ready, set. But I want you backed up and braced. Because if you remember, when we were like over here, one of those other turrets that had AC2s was able to fire at us. So, you know. Um, I don't want to have to take additional damage if we don't have to. Now, interestingly enough, I actually did that wrong. Because what I wanted to do, I wanted to move EG, because I could have had EG sensor lock these puppies up. We are in combat, right? I could have been all like, eh, let's find out what you got. So we got a Wolverine. Right. Receiving you. Again, we're gonna reserve everybody this turn. Okay, Wolverine peeked its head. Fired a glitch. That's okay. We are still reserving. We want all we want the other one to go to. Uh Man, that makes me think he has LRMs. I don't, I don't know. He's, but he didn't fire, so it's very odd. Okay, so he's got three evasives, um, which of course, you know, we're yes, not Commander. super fans of. Um, Deckard does not. He's got a dotted line, but he doesn't really have a shot. Um, so first off, yes, EG, Commander. what can we do with you? Can we jump you to a location? I don't want to block someone else's shot, but yeah, yep, yeah, that'd be okay, I think. Engaging jump jets. 
again, we're going to try and use this sort of little mound of a hill for... And then we're going to sensor lock this guy up. That'll help make him a little bit more hittable. Next, we are going to use glitch. Whoop. Yeah, we expected that would happen. Oh, we didn't know that was a PPC. Light damage. Holding firm. Do not like that. Sam, I am. Do not like that. Commander. Add green eggs and ham. Orders. Yeah, orders. Um, do me a favor. Uh, soften them up any which way possible. Thank you. Also got rid of the evasion bonus, which was uh, another big deal for us. Good to go. Okay, you really don't have a shot. Standing by. And I don't think you have a shot. Of course not. Waiting for orders. Where could I get a shot? Is I guess my question. I could go all the way out there, which puts me in PPC hell. Um, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Okay, right there. That's still in PPC hell, I am sure. And it doesn't get me close enough, really, for what I want to do. That might get me close enough. Okay. So we're going to do this. Affirmative. I really actually do not think this is a good idea. I think we should have just pulled back further. We got company. I, I feel like I'm... Yeah, okay, so maybe that wasn't the turret. Maybe that was that 65-ton Mac, which doesn't make me actually feel any better. Um, yep, okay, we're going for the center. Sorry, buddies. Locking in all weapon systems. Uh, some good lasers in the middle, but I'm seeing some arms and torsos and legs hit as well. Scored a critical hit. He is unsteady. Waiting for orders. I know you're hurt, um, and I don't know that you could actually. Well, it looks like you might be able to come. I don't, I don't want to call it to the rescue, but um, maybe you do have some heat issues as well. But if we could uh, resolve this this turn, yeah, chances are not super high. Let's take these off. Let's take those off. What do we got? 56. Uh, the chances just aren't very high, though. Yeah, probably not going to happen. Um, Confirmed. And also, I completely forgot we're just generally firing, so. Yeah. It's okay. No, 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 mommy. Wow. Take that. So they have at least three in the reinforcements because they got this one plus that 50 tonner plus the one we're firing at right now. Orders. Okay, so here's our opportunity. Now, uh, I'm actually going to see if I can have EG finish this guy or at least knock him down so with that in mind looks like I can get a PPC shot if I go over here um, so that's what we're gonna do I don't know how good a shot but we're gonna keep in the trees yep so this wouldn't kill him if I hit even if I hit him in the center but it would knock him down of course I would rather kill him yeah knock down good good the reason I'm, I, I hate to waste Decker's turn, um, actually this has moved him so far down the tree that I may hold off, I think, except the reason I wanted Decker, I'm going to actually have Decker pretty much, uh, he's going to bulwark is what's going to happen here, uh, so I am going to actually use what's Decker up, up and uh, hopefully we can fire a limited amount of weapons um, at our uh, target here, um, maybe we can take it out. I don't know what to fire because he's still got a lot of armor and I was hoping to save some heat. I feel like I actually have to fire everything to make sure it happens. Well, and even then it's not sure it'll happen, but... Good. Okay. okay. Let's go. One less... So there are... Oh, God. There's another one out there too. 
because that was one quarter of the reinforcements. So we got the 50 ton plus the 65 plus something else that we don't know. Got a lock on me. Yeah, this is gonna hurt. <laughs> 